Hi everybody, welcome to All Games New and Old. I am David Rodriguez and today I'm going to be unboxing A Feast for Odin. This is a Uwe Rosenberg game, one of his big box games. So I've heard great things about this. I have not played it. Uh, the only big box game of his I've played is Hallertau, which I really do enjoy. I've only played it solo actually so far, but really liked it. It looked complex when you're reading the rules, but then when you actually start going, it was so... Ah, that was really elegant. So I'm, I'm excited to see if this is the same. I know this is a worker placement game where there are a lot of possible places to put your workers. That's one of the things I remember hearing about it. But I've heard it's not as crazy as it might seem at first blush. So we're going to see how that goes for me. But um, this says, Delve into the world of Vikings and dabble in trading, hunting, raiding, pillaging, plundering, and raiding some more. Build houses, explore new worlds, and every round have a feast in Odin's name. In this great strategy game, Uwe Rosenberg lets you relive a bygone era. The large variety of actions and occupations guarantees your Northerners long-lasting fun, with each game creating a new world on your player board. A big Viking box full of components and possibilities. So, this says it is ages 14 up for one to four players, 30 minutes per player. For those of you who have played this, do you agree with that time frame? That's what I'm curious about. Because usually if something on the box is going to be uh, not quite accurate, that's the one, as I'm sure many of you know. So let's get this open and see what we have in here. I believe there's going to be a lot of components because let me show you this. This is a very thick, it's a very thick box. So <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> um, Again, I know there's like a lot of like worker places. I'm not gonna know what a lot of it means yet, but I am really curious to see the components. I know this is very high on the uh, BGG Top 100. When my wife and I did a video about uh, the top 10 games in the BGG Top 100 we wanna play and five we don't, this was on my wife's list and it was so close to making it to mine. And then I got this excellent deal on it through Target and so I could not pass it up any longer. So I decided to go ahead and jump on in, get the game. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff. So here's our little uh, book of other games they make. I'm looking for the rule book here. That's usually what I start with. I think it's buried. So let me, I'll get some of this stuff. So we'll look at this. So we have um, some dark blue cubes as well as some gray, not exactly teared off shape because they're, you know, straight edges, but more or less that. We have something. I'm gonna call it something. Let me get these out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. It looks like a tree stump. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a tree stump. So we'll see. Okay, and these are all just kind of meeples of various colors. All pretty much the same otherwise. We've got a bag of bags, which is great. We have some storage solutions here for everything, which is cool. I'm trying to pull support. Is there anything already in there? I don't think so. I'm hoping this thing has a diagram on how to put stuff away. It's fine to have an organizer, but sometimes it's not that obvious how you want to organize stuff. So we'll see about that. All right. We have a score sheet, which is great. Uh, there it is, sheep. I was looking for sheep. If there's one thing I know about Uwe is that there's usually sheep in his games. So, how about that? We have a 12-sided die and an 8-sided die. I'm curious about that. I didn't know there would even be dice in this game, so that's interesting. Let's look at this here. This, these might be our worker, uh, worker placement spots. What these faces mean, I could not yet tell you. But I'm sure I will know eventually. And what will help me is getting to the rule book here. Oh my god, there's a lot of books. So, this is an almanac to the game. Is this like a, is it just like reference, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. Probably telling you what each individual thing does, which is a good thing to have, for sure. I wonder how hard it is to just pick up on it through play. I'm hoping not too hard. But we'll find out. I like it when they have things like this, though. So makes life easier. Okay, here is the rule book. So, it is... Let's see, 23 pages. Not too bad. Lots of full color pictures. What you want? Um, examples, which is great. So, 
I already had people who want to play this with me on BGA because I posted a picture of having gotten this. And uh, oh, i got to learn this game. I have to learn it. That's all there is to it. Here's the appendix, which, oh my goodness gracious. This looks, uh, it looks like a lot. I have a feeling it's not as crazy as it looks like it is, but it really looks like a lot. So we're going to see here. Okay, what do we have here? We have, okay, these are probably player boards. It looks like there's several of them. Really nice looking components though. Here's the guys all up here having a feast, presumably for Odin, I guess. Um, here, I'm gonna move the cards out of the way for a moment. We'll get to those shortly. Let's get to these uh, polyamino pieces. Oh gosh, there are so many punch boards. This is all punch boards. Good God, all right, I'm gonna move the box aside. Okay. I don't know exactly how this works. Uh, I think it goes on, I, I'm guessing it goes on like these areas, it looks like like the narrow parts are about the right width for that, but I'm not sure. And there's so many different things. I don't, I just don't even know what it is I'm looking at here. Let me turn this, I need to turn it around. I think it's upside down. There's a lot. You're gonna watch me get real scared uh, going through this here. Oh yeah, so like, yeah, tree stumps, that's basically what it was. And these are the other things which look like rocks here. I guess but those are the things we have the wooden tokens for. We got little um, baskets of pears, it looks like. Uh, animal pelts, cloaks, um, bones, treasure, or no, those are, are those? I'm not sure that's a barrel or a treasure chest, actually, it could be either way, but got some animals here. All kinds of stuff. My goodness, there is a lot. <laughs> it looks like really a lot to learn. I'm going to spend. A good portion of my life punching this game out. It sounds like I'm complaining. I hope it doesn't because I'm not. I, I'm I'm excited to figure out what it all is. There's just so much. This is cool. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but um, that looks neat. Oh, yeah. punching things out. The Sh Shetland, Faroe Islands, Iceland, Greenland. Huh. I don't know how that plays into it, but I am very curious. Okay. Got some kind of like a tracker here, it looks like. Gosh, there's a lot. A lot that I do not know what it is yet, so we will find out eventually. Let's look at these cards. I don't know. Oh boy. A, B, and C. Okay, so this was open directly. Do not open yet. Do not open yet. So we're not going to open those yet. I'm just going to flip through these and see kind of what they are. I don't want to... Um, I get too deep. I feel like it's not going to be loaded with art. Oops. Here, let me zoom. Let me zoom in here. I always zoom in correct direction first. It never ever fails. Craft leader, shepherd, slowpoke, tanner, tutor, crush efficient hunter. So a lot of it is just like sort of like types of people: cattle breeder, peacemaker, fruit picker, farmer, tradesman, shelf builder, homecomer. Lots of stuff, and I'm, I'm guessing this iconography is all pretty clear once you've played the game a bit, but I'm just not there. So, that's interesting stuff. That's one type of deck. This is, this is a different thing, although it looks similar is the funny thing, because it has more, uh, I would say, types of people. I hope it's not a mistake to open this. I, I'm always worried when there's like a million deck of cards in the game, opening them before like I'm really ready to sort, because I'm afraid that's going to make things hard. Because again, these are like various types of people, either Miller, the Ore Boatman, Helmsman, Whaling Equipper. Okay, and then we have maybe items? I'm not even sure what they all are, but looks like a Pit Trap, Bow and Arrow, Sword. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, gosh, it's a lot. It's a lot, but that is, uh, that's what's in the box for this big, Somewhat intimidating game. A feast for Odin. There we go. I can see it a little better, I think. So I know there's an expansion for this. Uh, if any of you have tried it, please let me know what you thought. I'm very curious about it. Is it one of those where it's like it makes the game significantly better? Or is it kind of one you can hold off on? I'm just, I'm just curious about that. 
Either way, I'm excited to get to try. I know a lot of people really love it, and I really think I will too. I just have a good feeling about this one. So, but let me know your thoughts. I, I would love to hear other people's opinion, and uh, maybe you can clear up some of the things that I was clueless about, although I will find out eventually. But anyway, I hope this video has been fun for you. If it has, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. If you enjoyed that video, you might also like this one. Or this one. If you like any of our videos, what you should do is click this little button to subscribe so you'll know about the next time we put out a video. We'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.